Still pretty cool to have, you know. I never had a standee before, so this is my first one right here. Another quick look. So Yep, that's pretty awesome. And here is where I keep all of my game guides and stuff. You know, I got some music CDs right here, and this is just a folder of random stuff. You know, God of War, Grand Turismo, Final Fantasy, Donald Crisis, Halo, Star Wars, Doom, Resident Evil, of course, Kingdom Hearts, Devil May Cry. I only got Devil May Cry 4, but I want to get some of the other strategy guides. Super Mario Galaxy, Perfect Dark, Need for Speed, and then I got my, all my uh, Game Informer magazines, my official Xbox magazines. I'm trying to do that so that way it's not too bright. I got what? Get one Game Pro magazine. I have a whole bunch of uh, official PlayStation magazines. And then I got some PSM magazines, which is, I guess, an independent magazine or some. And then I got some random magazines in there. And then I also have a, this is a TNA wrestling book that I got when I uh, went down to one of their events. You actually have them sign, sign their page. I got about 12 or 13 autographs in there, so that's pretty freaking awesome. But uh, anyways... I got my Blu-rays and PSP games down here and stuff. Of course, I got this one right here. This is like one of the best movies that I think Will Smith did in a long time right here. I Am Legend. I got the uh, collector's edition. And then you got my... Uh... I'm going to turn off that light. You know, I got my Blu-rays right there. Batman, The Gads, Dark Knight, Final Fantasy, Transformers, Halloween, The Original Street Fighter, Transporter, 28 Days Later, of course, Resident Evil, all the movies so far, I, Robot, Gone of the Dead, Boondock Saints, Constantine, Hitman, Stargate, Universe, the 1.0, that's just like the first 10 episodes. And Dragon Ball Z Kai. Now that sucks because when that when I bought this, they were making such a big deal about it being all redone, all in high definition and shit, which I thought was going to be something similar to uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, which is like they re they redid Full Metal. Full Metal Alchemist, the original series, and they read that all in high definition and everything. But this, this right here, I'm probably not, I'm probably not even gonna waste my time buying these because they didn't even do that shit. All they did was, it's still, in, what do you want to call that? They say it's 1080p, but it's not. It's 4x3, which. I don't know people are going to say, well, what's the big fucking deal about it? Well, you know, watch uh, the Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood on Blu-ray, and then watch this, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. It's pretty much the same thing like throwing in a regular uh, DVD and uh, watching it from, uh, what, 10 years ago? <laughs> I, will, I will say right now that I'm glad that I bought the original 
what Dragon Ball Z uh, series, uh, you know, season that I got down there that they redid in widescreen. I'd rather watch that than watch this shit right here because, yeah. That's the thing, and, that, and that's not the only thing that pisses me off. They keep. They really didn't change anything on here. All they did was maybe add. Uh, during like some of the major scenes, like when Piccolo blasts uh, Raditz and kills Goku and at the same time, they probably did like maybe a 10 second scene in there where everything was like cleaned up and then that was it. Like I said, I really don't see the point of even buying this shit. I mean, I bought it just so I can at least try it out. But, uh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, like say, uh, watch one of the uh, movies, Dragon Ball Z movies, in, uh, on a, on a Blu-ray, and then watch this, and then you know what I'm talking about, <clears throat> but, yeah, it doesn't make any difference, they fucking did that shit, they, uh, redid Full Metal Alchemist, with Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, and they did that perfect, but they didn't even fucking do anything like that to Dragon Ball Z. Which I thought they were going to fucking do. But I guess not. But either way, I do have, uh... What is that? Dead Zone? Which came with, uh... Dragon Ball Z Burst Limit. Because it was like a box set they had. And then you got my PS games on, PSP games on there. Which is pretty cool. And then I got a... You guys can't really see it. Well, I can mug right there. Dragon mug. Pretty awesome. And then, I got some, uh, what do you call that, manga or books, comics, whatever the fuck it is. One, one through, uh, seven. And then I also have, uh, they call that a character book. Which is actually pretty awesome. I'll throw it out here really quick and show you guys. Pretty kick ass right there. Yeah, I'll show you guys a few of the stuff in here, you know. Shows you some of the. Explains what some of the characters are and how the ideas came for the characters and all that stuff, so it's pretty awesome. I think I paid, what, 14, 14 bucks for it? But, uh, I'm gonna buy, the, I'm gonna buy all these books, because this is, I ain't kidding when I said this is, like, one of the best series right, out here right now, is Bleach. That's something that I would, I would buy the, uh, the books, and the TV shows and shit, because that's definitely worth it. And then, of course, I've got, what, the Resident Evil chapter books, I got one. The Umbrella Conspiracy and two Caliban Golf, which is kind of crazy because I still haven't completed reading this yet, and I've had it for over what three or four years. But uh, I will one of these days. I am going to finish reading that, and I want to try and get the other ones too. So, and I got the original uh, Mist right there, Half Life, Half Life Two, my computer games. You know, the majority of them I already showed. And then down here I got my extra controllers and shit. My PS2 controller right there. My uh, Wave Bird. My uh, PS2 DVD remote. I have an extra mic right there that I can use for my computer and stuff. I have a micro a headset for the XOX 360. And right there is my uh, music CDs. The majority of them I these from uh, right here on up I got from my uh, Goodwill. The rest of them I bought in the store. This is one thing I like right here. Which kind of sucks. You can't do that with DVDs and stuff, but you know, you got. You can switch to the uh, VHS tapes around and it actually creates a picture of it. Stuff like that. I'm still missing a few of them. I'm going to go online and see if I can find them. I'm pretty sure I can. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So, that's that. And then. You know, I got a poster right there for Soul Calibur. I got a Resident Evil action figure set right there. 
from Resident Evil 2. I want to try and complete that set. I don't mind if I can find them. Hopefully I can. So, uh, yeah, another thing too, is I usually throw some stuff here on the wall, on the ceiling right here. I got a Ichigo character right there from Bleach. And I just throw some stuff on, random stuff on here just to make it look good. Down the Christ soundtrack. Halo 3 soundtrack, Jurassic Park soundtrack. I got Jurassic Park from uh, Goodwill for a buck. I got an original Tetris game up there. The Inuyasha movie soundtrack for. I got, a, I don't know, a coin collected thing for uh, Inuyasha. That came with one of the, uh, came with one of the uh, box sets for seasons that I got. The, uh, I don't know what they call that, a cell for the Naruto. The Naruto uh, game for the PS3, the first one. And then I got a soundtrack for the third Inuyasha movie. I got some characters up here that my uh, brother, he, uh, he got them for me from uh, over at Goodwill. Or St. Vinny's, I can't remember which one, but got that. And then I got, yeah, they need to bring this stuff back. The game fuel. The uh, the original game field, then they got blueberry stuff. So hopefully they bring that stuff back because that shit's pretty damn good. But uh, I also got a lighter up there, which is a red one. And yeah, like I said, Bleach is one of my favorite series right now. So of course I got the original soundtrack one, two, and three. I also have soundtrack soundtracks of the movies. I got the first movie. Right there, second one, and the third one. I still need to get the uh, second, the TV soundtrack. And I know the fourth, the, what, the fourth movie's out right now, so I'm going to get that too. But, uh, anyways. Yeah. Also some other stuff on here. I got the Dollar Christ, this thing I made in high school. Right there, which is pretty kick-ass. I don't know if I showed that to you guys or not, but I also have a. It used to be a keychain, I think, right here for Resident Evil. Some of the things fell off, but still pretty cool, anyways. And I also got a necklace here I made of the umbrella logo right there, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, this, so far it's pretty much it right here. I mean. I still gotta try out my uh, Game Boy thing right here, which I'm gonna do that probably tonight. And yeah, David Lee, hey what's up? Yeah, my uh, camera, my memory stick ran out of uh, memory, out of room on there, so I had to get rid of some stuff. So, anyways, I was just gonna say, uh, David Lee, T, if you're watching this, I got my tool set. Finally found it, so uh, I should be able to. Take apart the uh, games, that uh, N64 game, and show you the majority of it. And I don't know if it'll help you that much with it, but at least you might have an idea of what's going on. If I at least show you what it looks like on the inside, but see, this is what I like. I got this off of uh, Amazon, and this map here actually shows you how, uh, like right there, has the names of the games and game systems and all that stuff and it tells you which which one to use for each one so it's pretty awesome but uh yeah I'm probably gonna do a video of this one too right here really soon I'm gonna try and take this apart and fix it because uh it's like something loose in there so it might be a screw or some but uh, this is a turbo touch 360 which I guess is just uh touchpad so I'm just have to wait and see how that goes but uh yeah just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of my uh, room and stuff but uh, before I end it I'll show you a few more things I got a lamp I got right here I can't remember where I got this from I got it from somewhere in the mall I think the shop moved though but anyways it's like a miniature castle with a dragon trying to 